Hey, I'm Charting Man Dan. If you like this video, I encourage you to check out our website, thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis, learning, and education, where we broadcast live market coverage every morning, provide live chart consultation, and point out key levels on your favorite plays in our community chat room. Why not check out our free trial and join the best technical analysis community online? Looking at SPY on the daily and weekly time frame, this close here, it's saying 205, but that's because it's factoring in after hours activity the close was at 205.34 and that maintained some key support levels the 50-day moving average 205.32 and the 200-day moving average 205.28 those are still maintained look back at previous history see that the last time we bounced and held that 200-day moving average support we saw a big bullish follow through day the next day so we'll see and keep an eye out if the bulls have that in store for tomorrow it does seem like we might be seeing a bearish break out of the consolidation channel. I say that because we did get a lower low relative to the previous pullback. The low was 204.75. So the past two days have been rejected from the middle Bollinger Band resistance, 207.68. That is going to be the key level we are looking at, as well as that 205.28, 200-day moving average support level. If we lose the current supports we have of the 250-day, we will be looking at the 100-day 202.97, and if that support is lost, we will have a target of 195, which is the gap that is still on the weekly chart. It has been there for quite some time, and all gaps on the weekly chart over the past four years for SPY have filled. So that's certainly a level that we expect to be hit. The question is when. Right now, it's very close to leaning bearish for a longer term relative to the three-month daily chart pullback, but bulls did maintain some key support levels today. We'll be watching to see how long those can hold and if we can turn that middle Bollinger Band back into support. Let's check out the MACD here on the daily chart. Heading down, increase in volume as the bears definitely knocked down the price significantly today. Let's see the weekly chart, two trading days left to go. The key for the bulls is going to be maintaining the 50-week moving average support of 204.86. We are currently above it. And we bounced off of that with the low last week as well. So key level to keep in mind, that 50-week moving average and the 200-day moving average is the big one on the daily chart. That's what we're looking at for SPY. If you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put them out daily. The website, again, is thechartguys.com. I can convey information much more efficiently live on webcam utilizing the five-minute charts. They allow for more key levels of support and resistance in details that can't be seen on the daily chart. I hope you stop on by for a free week trial. I look forward to meeting you. I appreciate you watching the video and hope you have a great night.